Hi guys, Artie here, and today I'll be briefly reviewing the Canadian animated series, Kevin Spencer, which ran from 1999 to 2005. It is one of the worst animated series, but also the most forgotten and under the radar. The show focuses on the titular character, Kevin Spencer, a delinquent, deranged, sociopathic, alcoholic, cop server addicted, chain-smoking 16-year-old. He frequently commits crimes like assaulting others who have insulted or wronged him and often wounds himself up in prison. He barely attends high school and only acts out by emotion and will go to any length to satisfy his needs without paying mind the consequences. All the characters, especially Kevin, have a blank, soulless expression. I won't count that against him since that is part of his characterization. He's pretty soulless. It also focuses on his disgusting family as well, who act exactly like Kevin except his parents are dumber and fatter than him. Meanwhile, Kevin at least has some degree of intellect. He hardly ever speaks, other than the series finale. Other than that, the narrator speaks for him. I wonder if this is how Caillou turns out as an adult. I mean, they are both Canadian. Kevin's only friend is an imaginary magical goose named Alan that tells him to commit these evil deeds. You can also add Schizophrenic to the list of Kevin's qualities. I found out about this series a month ago when I was in the process of making my Dan Versus review, when I stumbled upon the show on the niche streaming service, Local Now, which is run by The Weather Channel. Local Now is a very niche service, not many people know about it. It's a long forgotten adult animated show, I can't tell if it's trying to copy South Park or Dr. Katz. It has a simplistic rough style like South Park, but emulates this poorly, and also has the therapy aspect of Dr. Katz where Kevin speaks to a therapist in prison. This show is basically Canada's response to the early weird era of South Park from the first three seasons back when they had only hilariously outlandish vulgar plots rather than focusing on the satire, but it worked. You know those episodes like Jack Off a Sore, Chicken Lover, and Starvin' Marvin. This show is so poorly animated that it makes 12 ounce mouse look like a masterpiece by comparison. It looks like it was drawn by a middle schooler and then later animated in Flash. Despite the animation being one of the worst I've seen in animation history, it has a very catchy theme song. I like it. Something's wrong with that kid. His head don't work, it never did. You better not cross his path. He's a chain smoking alcoholic sociopath. Before it actually became a TV series, there were web shorts created by Mondo Media. That's right, the same people behind Happy Tree Friends. They were released from 1997 to 1998 before the Comedy Channel picked up the series in full. The first official season made for TV premiered on January 17, 1999, two weeks before Family Guy came out. In its home country, Canada, it aired on CTV in the Comedy Channel. Meanwhile, in America, it aired on the now-defunct Spike TV, today known as Paramount Network. I don't understand how the show managed to get eight whole friggin' seasons. It seems like one of those shows that get forgotten and only last 13 episodes. I guess this show somehow had an audience, most likely for the humor and memes. It even got dubbed in Spanish and Catalan. Honestly, this series works better as a series of shorts, like how Happy Tree Friends was. In a 22 minute format, it can be a slog to get through towards the end of an episode and doesn't have enough material to tell us in a full half hour of time slot other than foul jokes. Many of them very dated. If you want to check out Kevin Spencer for yourself, it is available on Tubi, Local Now, the Roku Channel, Plex, YouTube, and Amazon Prime Video. Just because this cartoon is bad doesn't mean it can't be enjoyable. It's one of those shows so bad that it's good, I even laughed at a few scenes myself. I don't dislike it, I just like to criticize and review it for fun. This show actually has some good meme material potential. I wouldn't be surprised in, let's say, 2024, people start talking about this cartoon and making memes about it. So far, I've only seen the shorts and a handful of season 1 episodes. Maybe the series gets better? Should I check out the rest of the series? Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, notify, and check out other videos in this channel. You may like them. And let me know if I should review more of Kevin Spencer.